what's poppin' first order family? Welcome back to Subsoak, episode 4. We are in the Clockwork City. I'm about to jump into this new quest line, new story. I have not done it yet, so I don't know where the story is gonna take us, how it's gonna go. But I am interested to find out, as I hope you all are. Before we get started, be sure to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. As you guys can see, for everybody who watched the old episodes, I've changed his look. He no longer has on the red and white wings. He now has on the, the, the Chargers Thunder Blue and Lightning Yellow. Because he is a, a Lightning build. But, um, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's jump into the storyline. Like I really want to see what this what this is about. Clockwork City, the miniature city. You no, know, let's let's get into this. Honor to you and your house, Sarah. Oh, my lord, Devaith Fear would speak with you at once. I'm not sure who Devaith Fair is, but. What does he want with me? Your aid, in exchange for a sizable stipend. Devaith Fear seeks a powerful artifact and requires a companion. He insists you are the only candidate worth considering. Uh, for now. Go to the Tribunal Temple in Mournhold. Lord Fear waits for you there. Okay, so he's in uh, Deshaun. Okay, no problem. I'll go there. Um, but... Do I have a choice? Because if I do, then I might have to reconsider. Of course. But if you do not come, he will find another. And you will be left behind, forever saddled with a coward's regret. Hardly a choice, by my estimation. Service to debate fear is a great honor, Sarah. Think hard before refusing. I mean, I, I consider this offer, but, um... Watch that coward word, real, real child. Don't make me come at your head. No funny shit. My master waits for you in the Mournhold Tribunal Temple. A word of advice. Don't keep him waiting for long. But yeah, I mean, as I stated before, I don't know who he is. So you want to elaborate on that or no? Only the most powerful mage in Tamriel. Lord Fear has walked the roads of Nern for millennia, plumbing the deepest mysteries of the Orbis. He strides between Mundus and Oblivion with ease. Daedric princes tremble at the mere mention of his name. Okay, so if he's so damn powerful, what the hell do you need me for? It's not my place to question his decisions. He ordered me to find you, and I obeyed. Lord Fear values diverse perspectives, but he has few mortal peers. So he often breaks bread with unusual people. Perhaps you strike him as unusual. Um, unusual, unique pretty damn awesome any of those would do you don't hurt me none i'll go check them out though keep your head up ugly <laughs> damn i wish i would have did some exploration because now i gotta travel all the way through stone falls to get to where i need to go to in deshaun and i gotta do it on horseback and my horse my mount isn't that fast? Well, here we go with this journey.
What's up, boss? So, you've chosen to join me. Excellent. I seek a powerful Daedric artifact. It lies hidden in a distant land. A gleaming city filled with danger, curiosity, and contradiction. In such a place, diverse perspective is vital. Thus, you. Okay. I mean... First off, let me start by saying your gear looks pretty awesome. But, on a more serious note, what exactly would I be signing up for? A voyage that only a few have ever undertaken. We will travel to Sotha Seal's peculiar experiment, the Clockwork City. I have inquiries to make. You will assist me. Alright. Uh, you know how to reach the Clockwork City? I do. The Tribunes are not so clever that they could hide such a place from me for long. The city is quite close, and also very far away. Just the first of Sotha Seal's many paradoxes. If you choose to join me, be prepared for many more. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm straight. Let's, let's, let's get it popping, bro. But uh, why ask me for help, though? You saved the life of a living god. Yes, I know all about your service to Vivek and your conflict with Clavicus Vile. Foiling the plans of a Daedric Prince is no mean feat. I can think of no better companion for my journey to the Clockwork City. Oh, so you heard about me. I'm, I'm getting pretty famous. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, for sure then. I'll definitely, um, I'll work with you, bro. Of course you will. Naturally, you have questions. Alas, they will have to wait. Servants of the Tribunal do not look kindly on blasphemous journeys like this one. Meet me at the waterfall north of the city. We discuss the details there. All right, bro. Sounds good. I'll see you, man. Prepare if you must, but make it quick. Time is not on our side. I got you. Yes? Believe me, it won't be the last. We can speak freely here, but do make it brief. All this natural splendor is just tedious. Alright, I got you. I got you. Um, why do you think Sotha Seal hid the Clockwork City here? Sotha Seal hides everything. But more to your point, it's not just a city. It's an incomprehensibly powerful world-shaping device. Can't leave that sort of thing lying about, can you? Also, Almalexia worries about how it reflects on her divinity. Almalexia? Who is Almalexia? Yes, Seal's fellow Tribune. A machine can be studied and perhaps understood in time. She fears that by reducing their divinity to a machine, so the Seal lessens the mystique of their godhood. To his great credit, Seal largely ignores these concerns. Alright, I mean, cool, cool. Uh, what do you hope to find here in the Clockwork City? A Daedric artifact. I take a keen interest in all such objects, but this one seems especially significant. You see, nearly everyone who searches for it winds up dead. I suspect that someone or something hid this artifact away in the Clockwork City. Those were some powerful words. I mean, you want me to help you when you know that people wind up dead when they go looking for it? I mean, aren't you concerned about seeking the object that other people get killed looking for? I mean, I'm confused. Other people are not to face fear. Nigga, but I ain't to face fear either. I long by shying away from dangerous relics. Anyway. If this artifact inspired someone to slaughter scores of mages, it's clearly something worth investigating. Ah, right, you're lucky I ain't no lame, bro. I'll walk away. But 
I'll go because I'm powerful enough to. But uh, I know for a fact you briefly mentioned I'm Alexia. Who who is Sota Sil? The father of mysteries, the clockwork god, the tinkerer, and other such banal titles. The Sotha Seal, or Set, is a member of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He reigns over Morrowind as the god of craft and sorcery, the wisest and most reclusive of the three. Oh, okay, okay. Um, do you know him well, or...? Ha! No one truly knows Sotha Seal. Not even his hordes of wild-eyed worshippers. I studied with him before his ascent, and even then he defied comprehension. His only true peer was Inderil Nerevar. Such a shame what happened to him. What happened to him? Indeed. Saint Nerevar the Captain. Our king and greatest champion for a time. He died, tragically, during a journey to the heart of Red Mountain. It was all very sudden. Some believe his retainer, Dagoth Ur, struck the mortal blow. Others? Others what? Don't stop right there. Others what? Some believe that Sotha Seal, Vivek, and Almalexia murdered Nerevar so they could take divine power for themselves. Who's to say what really happened? In any event, Sotha Seal emerged from the mountain even more inscrutable than before. Okay, I mean, I know people do crazy shit for power, so I wouldn't put it past them either. Uh, what do you think happened, though? I think it's irrelevant. The silence okay. of Sotha Seal may come from a place of grief and deep regret. It might be a side effect of his fierce obsessions, perhaps both. How he became a god is no concern of mine. I respect his knowledge, think more. Alright, so let's head to the Clockwork City. I'm ready to kick some ass. Divide, divide. Draftier than I remembered. Follow me. Okay. Cool, cool. I was just about to ask you how we're gonna get through here. Welcome to the dwarven hole of Palm's Arm Shen. Such as it is. Ironic that AM's holy city of Mournhold has Dwemric roots, don't you think? Yeah, it's a bit weird. Practically no one knows this route, but this scaffolding looks new. Built by rogue ordinators, perhaps? Stay watchful. Sotha Seal always did admire dwarven industry, albeit quietly. Perhaps that's why he built his city here. It sounds like somebody trying to protect him. I respect it. This lift will take us to the nethermost depths of the ruin, and to our destination. Come along. On you go. The entrance lies just ahead. Do you see? Just across the ravine. That's our door. Okay. Diverted our passage. Audacious, but foolhardy. When I find them, I. Wait. I feel. cold. Back! Return! My shadow! My power! Don't let it escape! The fuck? Hey! Get back over here. They're activating. 
Ready your weapons. I will assist you as best I can. Right on your head, top. Right on your head, top, pussy. Yeah, obviously, I realize we are. Oh, good cheap shot. That's your wife, though. Head top. Good night. Fetch it, scrap heaps. My shadow remains close. We must hurry. Swords. Oh, wonderful. I'm in no good. Perhaps I failed to impress the gravity of our situation upon you. If my shadow gets away, we may never escape this place. So if you have something to say, say it quickly. Nope. You got it, boss. Let's get it. Constructs his clockwork servitors here, the factotums. They reject anyone who doesn't belong. Someone meant for us to die, Esther, but I will aid you as best I can. Lead on. Straight to the end. Thunder and lightning on your head top. Nice. 
On your head top. On your fucking head top, pussy. Let's go, Shadow. Lightning punch. Hang. Hang. Good night. Stand back. Time to reclaim what is mine. You never know how much you miss a thing until it tries to kill you. More ridiculous machines? I've had enough of this. No shit. We still have a long way to go. Can I get some of that? Let me get some of that power. Get out of the way, Eric. All right, how the hell you get hyper for me, boss? Lackeys, I take it. Watch your mouth. Lushana Pullo. Hospitable as ever? Go talk to her. Hold there, friend of fear. Time. I am Proctor Luciana Pullo of the Clockwork Apostles. I don't care. I don't know how you and this egomaniac breached Lord Seth's Celestia drone, but I won't have non citizens stirring up mischief in the Brass Fortress. You see that burn on your face? You want it on both sides? Stop fucking with me. But I'm gonna be peaceful. How can I become a citizen? Only just arrived and already trying to grease the gears? New arrivals must secure an endorsement from a citizen in good standing. I'm prepared to overlook your atrocious choice in companions if you can find a sponsor. Until then, you are tarnished. Um, you really bug it out right now, and I'm finding it very difficult. Not to give you some some lightning on the other side of your face. But how do I get a citizen to sponsor me? That's for you to find out. Bitch. Not many citizens will risk their reputation on a green-heeled stranger. And you'll find no comfort from me. Maybe you should confer with the other tarnished over there. In the meantime, obey the law. I'll be watching. I don't give a fuck. Tread carefully. Lushana clearly hasn't lost her charming demeanor. Predictable. She's a complete bitch, bro. It seems like we won't be in the city until we find a sponsor. Ah, yes. Their bizarre sponsorship custom. I forgot about that little wrinkle. As a friend and peer of Sotha Seal, I come and go as I please. I suppose it would be best for you to wait out here. If I need you again, I will find you. Um... Bro, you not gonna sponsor me? I'm not a citizen. And even if I were, I'd not waste time wading through their opaque bureaucracy. You've proven yourself to be more than capable. I have no doubt you'll figure something out. Gain your sponsorship. We will speak again soon. I appreciate your assistance in the pneumatic forge, but for now, our paths must diverge. The artifact we seek will not remain in one place for long. I can ill afford a delay. Navigate this absurd ritual quickly. I will find you again afterward. 
Oh man, okay. Uh, let me just ask you this real quick. Uh, why did Lusana refer to Sotha Seal as Set? Seal has many names. Sotha Seal, Set, Sea, the Clockwork God, on and on. Tiresome, if you ask me. The Clockwork Apostles mostly refer to him as Set, his verse and sermon name. I call him Seal because I'm not a doe eyed idiot. Okay, and then uh, can you elaborate on the apostles? Yes, a monastic order of sorts. They serve Sotha Seal through magical inquiry. Apostles fancy themselves iconoclasts who push the boundaries of magical praxis. There's a seed of truth there, I suppose, but they're still obnoxious. Oh man, are they are they all like burnt face over there? <laughs> You mean, are they all half-metal monstrosities? <laughs> More or less. Some modify themselves more than others. It's a form of reverence. They want to be more like Sotha Seal. Peculiar... Well, I'll let you see for yourself. Alright. So, uh, go ahead. I'll find a way in. Alright, guys. Thanks for tuning in to episode 4 of Subsorb. Uh, basically, chapter 1 of the Clockwork City. When we return for episode 5, we will be finding a way to get citizenship so that we'll be able to enter the Brass Fortress of uh, of Clockwork City. Again, I appreciate y'all. Grip up. Famous power.